week five update fog ponic versus aeroponic uh, you may notice slight change in the color of the light the CFL that I have in is now one large 2700k instead of the two 5700k uh, I'm trying to get a little more red now that I have uh, feel like I'm pretty safe from the leaf curl as both plants that were curled have uh, righted themselves um, I was able to prune my Thai peppers. Um, I left two of the branches on each plant. I'm not really familiar with how the Thai peppers grow. There's two branches on that one. So I'm going to try to keep some suckers because they seem to like to branch. We'll see. Um, I do have a plant here in this corner and one in the back corner. It looks like the they're kind of getting crowded out for light, so they're a little behind. Um, got lots of flowers starting to show up. Uh, there's one. There's another. One about to bloom in there. This plant has really started to bloom well. Lots of branches and lots of blooms. Here is the plant that's been ahead the whole time. Uh, these two plants are basically in the same spot. They were planted uh, very equal. Um, for a while, this plant was, you know, way ahead of everything else. But to be honest, the plant over here in the fog has caught it, has more blooms, more foliage. Uh, it seems like the blue light from the CFLs really helped them to grow real thick, nice stems versus some of the plants in the back um, that only got the LED light more red are a little more leggy, a little more internode inter distance. Uh, see if you look at the internode distance there, it's quite long. And then if you come look at it, you know, down here it gets pretty short. Uh, on these two plants that were uh, exposed to the CFLs, they've developed a little further, so I was able to do a second prune up to the second division, and in a little bit I'll show a comparison of the biomass trimmed from those. The rest of them are still a little ways behind those two, but lots of good flowers and everything. So once again, here is the fog ponic plants, and here are the aeroponic plants. The water consumption has gone up quite a bit, as you might expect as I get more more plant matter in here. This week I was able to prune the Thai peppers for the first time. Um, so this is a biomass comparison for Thai peppers. Um, you'll notice uh, the bottom row is arrow, the top row is fog ponic. Uh, you'll notice there's a missing spot right here. That's for the plant that's uh, obviously uh, you know doesn't have good genetics. It's been behind everything else, the whole grow. And it just wasn't ready to prune, so I wasn't going to rush it. Um, but the other two comparisons are plants that are in similar locations, so they should be fairly accurate comparisons, hopefully. There's arrow, and there's fog. On this comparison, one thing that I noticed was that I had significant number on this plant, on the fog, of, uh, you know, sucker branches that had developed four, and I left, I left two sucker branches on every plant. I had to trim four off of this plant on its, uh, you know, comparison plant in the arrow rail. I didn't have to trim any suckers. Um, again, a, a few more larger leaves in the fog than in the arrow, uh, but that was the main difference. And then in this comparison, here's the arrow. There's the fog. Um, again, you know, a few few more large leaves in the fog than the arrow maybe a little bit more mass trimmed. This is a comparison of the leaves trimmed from the 
Fogponic and Aeroponic jalapenos that were closest to the CFLs. Um, basically, it's the plant that was furthest ahead for most of the grow and the plant directly across from it in the fog row. Uh, very surprising to me was the fact that these leaves are from the Aeroponic plant that was uh, really ahead of everything else for the entire grow, looked like it had really superior genetics. Uh, and these leaves are from the plant directly across the way from it in the fog system. Um, big difference, I'm really surprised.